All right, so I want to solve this. Now, unlike the previous problem, um, this side of the equation is not a log, so that's going to prove some, uh, diff give us some difficulties later. But we do know we can write it as a single log, so to do that, I use the product property in this case, and I write that as x plus 4 times x minus 4 equals 2, and I put that inside a log base 3. Next, I want to go ahead and use FOIL to write that as log base 3 of x squared minus 16. You could also use the difference of squares. That equals 2. My next step is going to be to rewrite. My next step is to rewrite this in exponential form. So I have log base 3 of x squared minus 16 equals 2. The base is 3, so I bring that down. 2 becomes the exponent x squared minus 16 moves to the other side. Now, I want to set one side equal to 0. So to do that, I evaluate 3 cubed is 9 minus 16, and I subtract 9 from both sides, and I get x squared minus 25. Now I want to go ahead and find the zeros of the polynomial. That, are, that is left, and to do that I factor x plus 5 times x minus 5, and I see that my zeros are x equals negative 5 and x equals positive 5. Next, I want to check for extraneous solutions. I see that x equals 5 is my only solution because negative 5 minus 4 is undefined. So if I plug negative 5 back into here, I get an undefined solution. I should check x equals 5 and plug it into both sides. When I do that, I see that it is a solution.